Hey guys, all right, so it's almost a week later since my last video. Uh, weather has not been cooperating with me, and it's really still not. It's uh, low to mid 40s right now. Actually, it's getting kind of late in the day right now. Um, but I pulled out this Troy built sycamore I got in the spring, and I had these two tires on it. As you can see there, seen better days. So when I was filming it in the spring, I was showing you guys upcoming projects. I seen this number and I thought uh, it was a rental or something. Well, gee, here it is right here, Wilmer Rentals. So this was a rental. Um... You know, that's kind of a good thing because it might have lowish hours on it. Hard to say. Um, but it's been taken care of. But it hasn't been taken care of for however long it's been sitting. It's got, you know, the I don't know if you can see it. The handlebars. This side needs to come up. But I was kind of looking at it. This bar is perfectly straight. So it's just this this one right here. You got to bring up. It doesn't have a. And this part's loose anyway. It's not totally loose. I can take that nut right off. This side loose. Anyway, might have to bust that one off. Replace them both. And uh, now, when I had this thing in storage all winter, I had it up on its nose, tipped up. So the motor was sitting like this, and uh, so I don't know where all this oil is coming out of the why it's coming out of the exhaust right now. But you can see there's a bunch of crap in there. It could be a mouse nest in there. This is just preliminary looking over. I kind of did a little bit before I started filming. This thing is not in great shape. Like, oh, well, there it went. Um... Add oil here every four hours. Huh. Well, it doesn't speak very well for Briggs and Stratton now, does it? One of their better engines than these little four horses. Uh, anyway. So, as you can see, I got the wheels or the tires off the rims. And this side's already done. Now, I wanted to get some... Uh, egg tires like that I couldn't find any these tires I already had on rims here so I had to take them off rims because these shafts are gigantic so I had to use the orig this original rim to this machine so I had to take these tires off their original rims so I could put them on these rims on this machine and I'll, I still have the other tire to do yet and I was gonna. This is the other rim wasn't too bad. This one got a little water in it, looks like. So hang on. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm just cleaning up this rim. And uh, yeah, I'm using my antique uh, wire wheel here. It's just precariously sitting on top of my stand that I have starter sitting in.
about as good as it's going to get, I guess, is mainly concerned about the uh, valve stem hole. Because I'm putting, I put tubes in these. It's the closest I can get. I tried to find tires, but I found tubes, so. Okay. So now I'm going to take you over to my tire uh, changer. All right, guys. So is our tire still on the original rim it was on? So I have the one side taken out. We just have to do the other. And I know <clears throat> my buddy Bruce is probably going to be pretty upset with me because all the mess. I, uh, I did actually have this cleaned up over the winter, or at least as clean as it can get. I just have way too much stuff. But then over the winter, it just kind of starts, stuff just starts getting piled up on it. So this is just my Harbor Freight little tire changer and I did make a video on it when I first got it and I really should have waited till I was more accustomed to it I guess uh, it, it, it still I still wrestle a little bit with some tires um, most of the time it goes pretty smooth I sure know that and I know that everything's got their little spot they should be in a different spot I just use this as a spacer right now, but uh, you know some tires are harder than others for whatever reason. These have been going pretty good, can't complain. Well, I should show you, you can see the difference in If you can see that how big that shaft size is compared to this one quite a difference And I could put this spacer underneath, but I want to keep this rim as low as possible right now. Oh. Here we go. I've just been using this degreaser stuff. Usually, this one's got too much give in it. But usually, you can just fit the first one, first bead right on there. But sometimes, like this one, it takes a little persuasion just like that. No biggie. I'm going to put a little more on there. What did I do that for? I knew I was going to screw up because I was filming. And I don't know how many of you guys caught it. But uh, I forgot to put the inner tube in. No problem. I'm 
just do that. No. Oh, here it is. This is a this is a size we're doing right there. Biggest struggle is getting a brand new tube in. It's got all the pre folds in it. And my hands are getting getting cold, so they don't want to work right. <laughs> you. Depends on which way you bite your tongue. Get that done now. But these are they're pretty long stem, so I probably shouldn't have to worry about it too much. But a lot of times the stem wants to fall back in when you're putting a tire back together. So I just put a little washer. I'll show you on a different bell stem like this I just put a washer on it and then put the cap on so that washer will keep keep it from falling all the way into the rim while you're putting the uh, tire on I usually spray a little soap in there too to uh but when you put air in the tube and it starts moving around expanding inside here it has some slippery stuff to help it you know okay here we go again needs three hands. Okay. There we go. And if your bell stem is see if you is cocked to one side or another, you turn your tire. To straighten it out, to straighten out your valve stem. Now we'll put some air in it and make it go pop. Pumped it up to about 25. I'm bringing it down to 20 right now. No pops. That was anticlimactic. I 
Yeah, both sides are beaded. Huh. Well, it didn't go pop. So, okay, I'm gonna pause you in. What a disaster that is. Look at that. Sorry, Bruce. I know. <laughs> okay. Are we running? Yes, we are. Okay. So, I'll take the pin out. Now, the wheels are off. You'd be silly not to put any C's on there. Mine is still partially frozen or something. So I'll just put some on top here like this. And then I'll put the wheel on and spin it, but then again, I'm not sure I have it high enough. I probably don't. More garage wood. Oh. <clears throat> right now would be a good time to have a helper. Okay. So you get that smeared on top and I just roll it around. Boy, she's a heavy dog, let me tell you. So, okay, we got the wheels on her. I, uh, let's go over the other side here. Or the air filter off. Nice chrome air filter, air, air cleaner. It's coming off with this stud. That's awesome. Ooh. Yeah, it's disintegrating. It's one of those. You go easy. Get this off. I'll be right there. Oh, it's just stuck to it. Alright. I'm going to take the blowgun after it. To check this for uh, it's pretty heavy I don't know that it's any good looks like a specialty filter I'll have to go search for one I guess so looks like this is an automatic choke deal take this out 
So what I want to do is I just want to see if it runs. I want to back you up some. I haven't even so much as pulled this thing over. No idea if it's got oil or not. I mean, it's dripping out of the muffler. I don't know how much we lost there. She's going to smoke when we start her, though. And it's only down a very little bit, so... That's okay. It's fairly clean too, what's in there. So like I said, I mean, they generally take care of it. I'm surprised that air filter wasn't in better shape. So I think what I'm gonna do now is test for spark. just with one of these guys. Now, eventually I'm gonna to have to get in here or just change this boot. Probably just change the boot. Cause this boot is really wrecked. Won't even clip on. <coughs> All right. You guys probably can't see it. So I'm gonna have to lower you. Bring you around over here. Let me bring you in. See how that works. Okay. Oh. oh, great. Well, we got spark. I don't hopefully you see that, but this oof the recoil. The recoil is rough at best. Sorry. All right. I'm going to bring you back over here. Okay, well, we got spark. I'm going to take that plug out. Actually, I'm going to take the blowgun around here. I blow that crap out of from around the muffler, too. This has been dented down. I didn't even notice that until now. Poor thing's been abused. So, all right, spark plug wrench. Oh, 
Virgin Oil. Luke's terrible. I'm gonna go try to clean this up or find a different one. Is it a regular? Should be just a regular. Ah, stuck in there. Can get it out. Why is that? It's just a little guy. Why, it's a CJ8. Can I see that? Well, I might have some CJ8s around here. I'm not sure where they'd be at this point. I'm going to go, I'm going to put you on pause and try to clean this up. Okay. Got her pretty well cleaned up. I didn't really look for another one. I just cleaned this one up. deal is here, I got the wrong size spark plug socket. I gapped it 2 to 25. Um, my gapper isn't the greatest. So, um, so that's what we went with. Okay, I think, I don't know if I have any gas in the little, this thing will shine up at all. Yeah, well, we'll have to do a better job later. Well, I have very little gas in my little square here. Um, again, okay, this video or this series on this particular guy is probably going to be, you know, parted into two or three episodes. So, um, right now we just want to see if it runs. And uh, then I'll go from there. And that'll be on a different video. Right now we just want to see if this old dog will go. But I'm kind of concerned with this pole rope because it's not the best. Oh my god, oil is just dumping out of it. That 
<coughs> Dump an eye of the muffler. Oh, it's everywhere. Ah, oh, I'm gonna pause you a second. I have to take this outside. All right, guys, so damn near out of gas. This rag is here just to catch the oil that comes out of the muffler. Ideally, I should take it off, which I probably will. <clears throat> like again, I just said this is just for starting. It is windy out here, so at least this way I can blow the oil all that way. Also, the spark plug thing is barely on there. A little bit more. Okay, I don't think the throttle cable is working very good. This muffler is saturated. And if you can see, I don't know if you can or not, lighting's kind of horrible. Let's see if I can bring you in. The throttle. The cable and the linkage, everything's kind of bent up. It was close to fast. And it wasn't uh, that fast, but that just could be for other reasons. And I think we got a nest in here for sure. So she's got to come apart for the next video. And then I don't know. Probably have to get I have to get in there. Where I fire it up and uh, oil them up, clean them up, I suppose, all the blades. So, all right. With that, guys, thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye.